Calm your tits. Calm down, Tisha. Calm your tits. No, because we're like in the beginning. It's like I have you. I have you. You think um you can be friends with your ex? What? What? Why wrong? I'm okay. I couldn't look at you. Could you, you know? Could you, could you be friends with your ex? Do you think? Could I? Okay, and I'm just joking. Could I be friends with my ex? Definitely. Because the reason behind it is, is, is because once upon a time, there was someone so close to you, like they could be the closest human you have in your life at that time, and you share a lot of things, being together, whether you talk, your problems, your happy days, your sad days, and I feel like why you stop being friends just because one romantic relationship don't work out. Mm -hmm. Usually it ends because there, there's something, right? But as friendship, because when you grow as a relationship, you also are friends with them, you're doing a relationship, you don't just... You don't just have sex all the time. You talk to them mm -hmm, about their mm -hmm, problems, mm -hmm, about your life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that part is friendship. And it's beautiful if you can keep it. But I understand there are some sometimes that it's hard to keep a friendship with your ex because whether it's like, what if the feelings are not neutral? What if one person feel more and still are pain? What if you can't let go? Can't let go. A lot of things. So I understand. But for me, um, each relationship now, I managed to let go. I managed to understand it. And I feel like I want to be friends with all of my ex. Yeah. Would, would you say your view on love has changed, you know, at all in recent years? Yeah, I think it has a lot because before as a kid, as a teenager, when you love someone, you're like, oh my God, he's so handsome, he's so cute, I want to talk to him. You know, you get attached way too fast. And then everything went speed, like a speed of light. You, you feel like, the fire, you the feel passion. The fire. And then you say like, you're the love of my life, I'm going to marry you, you know? <laughs> Like that, and then like now you're like, calm down, <laughs> calm your tits, calm down, Tisha. Calm your tits. No, because it was like in the beginning, it's like I have like you, I have you. But now it's like, <laughs> calm down. Can I say something? It's such a wonderful phrase right there. When it's a sentence, it's such a creative sentence right there. Yeah. Calm but, your tits. Yeah. But before so it was a so You know the body Giant yen! Giant yen! Yeah, it's like that. Okay, great, great. Okay. Right, so but before, right now, we have a breath. Right let me pursue. Yes, please. <laughs> we always get off topic. So in the beginning, the love was like really unrational like it go really fast everything feels a lot so intensely and you didn't really think of the circumstances or didn't think like other factors that make one relationship works you know beginning you're like if i just like this person enough i just love them that's all that's how the world gonna revolve around us everything gonna turn pink the air gonna be fresh like freaking freaking freshener yeah. i don't know but then now as i had relationship and also i failed some too you know because here we are today i think i learned that a lot of there's a lot of factors to make relationship works not just oh i love you you love me sometimes are you are you walking towards the same direction are we understanding each other in the, like a deep level are we compatible in the sense of life goals there's so much factors into it but as much as it is this is what growth is about you learn more and I felt like then you also know the meaning of love is powerful and you know the responsibility, you know the, the circumstance, and you know you see the whole picture more. Mm -hmm. Before it was like my feelings, my chemistry, enough, nothing else. But now you, you really, I think I mature also as when I love. So I feel like that's how mature love should be now that mm -hmm. I really have to see through and you take time. You don't go and be like, oh my God, you, oh you, me, forever. Nothing is forever.